Hello and welcome to another World of Tanks replay. I am in my T110 E5 and Gideon Titus is playing his brand new T62A. Um, so far we had a little bit of bad luck. Um, normally we played like I in my T110 E4 and he in his T62A but we decided that this might be the better setup because um, the T110 E5 is actually a rather fast tank so it might just work much better instead of having a slow tank um, to you know uh, fight with together so as usual the settings don't behave like I want them to um, and I think the T110E5 and the T62A are just working fine together it's uh, the T110E5 is not like a normal heavy it's, it's rather a uh, yeah, a heavy, t heavy armored medium, something like the T54, but not that fast <laughs> and not that maneuverable. But still, the fast firing gun with its uh, 400 Alpha, the DPM is quite high. Uh, I'm not sure if it's as high as the T62A's, but the T62A is is just freakingly insanely high. So, what you will see in this game, yeah. Mostly you will see our team fail, as it mostly is. Uh, I don't know why we get that bad teams, but, but it just happens. There is an I3, I don't have any problems to pen it with this gun. Um, I have to say the T110E4's gun is maybe brutal and stuff, but it's really unreliable in comparison to this gun. This gun is just... Yeah, it's just so much more reliable. If I hit something, I'm m mostly pretty sure I will pen it. Um, because of the accuracy of the aiming time, it makes no problem at all to use this gun effectively. Um, you will see some nice gameplay, nice teamwork here, because that is what World of Tanks is mostly all about. You really need to use your teammate and work things out. Um, yeah, so we're trying to be a little bit patient here at the beginning, because we need to conserve our... HP as long as we can. There is a Leopard PDA tried to shoot me. He has a long reload time, about 10 seconds. That's not very... Uh, not making him having a good DPM like the T62A, for example. We need to be careful because we have the Leopard PDA and... Yeah, I3, which is... Yeah, uh, yeah okay. One shot so far. Um, catch. Um, as you might see, our team... Yeah, I'm not sure. We will see how our team performs. Here is the E50. You could see this was the on-the-move shot and it penetrated just amazingly good. The gun on this tank is just really, really nice. I much like it. I tried shoot to shoot uh, through the wall, but it didn't work. Uh, what you hear in the background is my little daughter, <laughs> so <laughs> don't be too disappointed by it. Uh, there is the E50, I'm not sure what he will do or where he will go, I hope for him to do something stupid and there I'm trying to kill him and it finally did work. So, not I killed him but the car, but I helped him to kill it, so it wouldn't have been a kill for him uh, otherwise. Now, what we have left here is a T57, uh, T57 Heavy. And the Leopard PDA. Leopard PDA is one the shot. And I'm telling like my clan mate, okay, this, you know what? Leopard PDA is somewhat far away. T57 just is reloading, so let's go for him. Let's surround him and let's kill him. Uh, all the other tanks have been spotted, so there is most likely no freaking Waffenträger, which could strangely kill us uh, from behind. And there goes uh, T57 Heavy. This was a controlled rush and it just worked fine. So, I wanted to fucking bot game. I don't know what that should su uh, is supposed to mean, but yeah, okay. So, what we see now is Gideon killing the le almost dead Leopard PDA. Um, yeah, what I'm now doing is not maybe the smartest thing to do. I'm not sure. I wanted to be sneaky here. Not sure if this was very sneaky. I forgot completely about the ice tree, and I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, this bounced, and I'm like, okay, where did that come from? And it was the ice tree, and I put another shot in him. Gideon is killing him, and there is the ice you. I'm not sure if I will be stupid enough. Yes, I will, but it doesn't uh, turn out to be like my death sentence. Now um, we turned around the score. We was one back, now we are one up, but this will <laughs> not stay like this. 
I'm trying to get some shots of the middle, it's not working because the tanks are already too far up in the... Uh, oh, there is the Waffenträger, I'm not sure if I would shoot him. Most probably not. Now I'm spotted, that's not good because the uh, uh, Jack Spencer E100 might be looking in this direction and I don't want to get shot by him at no possible... Uh, at no time because it's always going to be bad. 1000 health points is it's half of what I have and yeah I don't know what hit uh, what this shell went into uh, it's 1210 now so we actually tr uh, could make a change here now the object 140 is engaging the jackpanes E100 which we saw before was looking in the direction of the object 140 so what will happen most probably the object is going to be killed yes one shot it because of course so the Jack Jack Panzer E100 that must have been a one shot. The E75 did shoot, and as you might know, my reload time is much better than the E75. But <laughs> the lower plate of the E75 is just free control, and it was angled, and I had a low roll. Um, doesn't matter. Now I'm switching for HE to kill this guy because I want to make sure that he stays and gets dead. And I, I and I don't bounce again. Ah, and there I shoot the fucking wall in front of him, or a stone, or whatever is in front of him. I don't know. No, I'm aiming my shot properly. And Jesus Christ, this is not happening to me. <laughs> this is just so annoying sometimes. But there I go for his tracks. I hope for the explosion damage, which often happens on tracks. As you can see now, uh, oh Christ, so the i7 just shot my engine and I will need my movability, so I repair it. I mean, okay, if I got Amorak or something that might be bad, but you will see later on that this tank is all about maneuverability. If you are not maneuverable anymore, and I try to spot proximity, spot the Jack Panzer E100 here, but uh, I forgot about Gideon that he's... Uh, driving down this road so it most likely won't be the problem so there goes a shot into the i7 and there is the Jack Panzer 100 luckily he yeah he just waited too long I guess he should have went for it much much earlier as you can see putting shots into the side of the i7 even in a bad angle is a good idea so yeah there goes another one and there is the Jack Panzer 100 and I'm not sure if I could have screwed this up here but he shot and he missed me. And there goes the finishing shot to the I-7. Um, most likely I should have gone... I don't know what should I have done here. I'm trying to give the Jack Z100 a bad angle so I stay close to him and I'm looking for weak spots but there is only the lower plate. Oh my gosh and this annihilating shot just nearly killed me. This was like a freaking high roll for the Jack Panzer E100 and there goes the killing shot and it's brothers in arms and we just secured this the T30 yeah let me make this clear this guy over there is most likely a bot yeah I can't imagine him not being a bot <laughs> it's just freaking impossible this guy was standing most likely all the time over there doing nothing he's completely red so I'm pretty 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 sure this guy is a bot maybe we can pull the video back a little bit I'm not I'm not sure yeah most most likely he's a bot as you as you might see it's like 340 and 44 percent with 5k battles this guy most likely is a bot so yeah this was the game, and this is the T110E5, isn't it? A beautiful machine, yeah. There is where the Jack Pansy 100 panned me. It's, it's, I'm just like paper for him. Even my upper plate would have been a penetration, I guess. This tank is just brutal. <sighs> yeah, and this was the game. I hope you enjoyed it, and I see you on the next one. Bye-bye.